Hello everybody, this is DC of Catalyst. I hope you have had a lovely weekend and I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. Um, I've just had a phenomenal day of training and one that has left me a little bit shaken is probably the only way to describe it. We've had a wonderful trainer in called Paul Dunn and I will share a link about him after the video so you can see the wonderful work that he does. And I learned so much, but I'm going to focus on the element that has left me shaken. And we did an exercise about why you do what you do and what's your real purpose. And as Paul was going through this exercise, and I was going through it with Kaz, who's uh, one of my colleagues here, I realized that um, even though I've shared, a, I think I've shared a little bit of my why in these videos, and I recognize that I haven't shared all of my why. And I don't like that because I want to be very honest with all of you that listen to me about why I do things and why I'm here. Um, and I was asking myself, why haven't I maybe shared it all? And by how I'm feeling now, I sort of know I haven't shared it because it's very personal. Um, it goes to a level of what I do and why I'm here, probably in the bigger scheme of things. And because honesty is important to me, and this is a lesson that I need to learn, and maybe some of you out there too, I wanted to share a little bit of my why with you. Why do I do what I do? I do it because I meet and have met numerous, multiple exceptional people everywhere I've worked. Kind people, caring people, talented people, successful people, funny people, all kinds of people. And yet I find one common theme amongst a lot of the people that I meet. And it is that they are kind and caring and generous with others, yet that they, they have an ability to be quite harsh with themselves. That limiting beliefs that I talked to you about, that I can't do this, I don't deserve this, I'll never be able to get there, that person is better than me, better looking, skinnier, curvier, more successful, all this horrible stuff. And when I meet someone, and I think this is my gift, when I meet someone, I see the beauty. I see the potential. I see the abilities. I see what's hidden and that that person is not allowing out. And I really feel that my purpose is to open your eyes to help you open your eyes to all of the amazing facets of what you are, um, the beauty that you hold inside you, the infinite abilities, um, the levels that you can reach if that's what you choose, the ideal inspired life that you deserve. Um, I want to open your eyes. Um, it makes me sad and angry sometimes when I see people put themselves down, especially when I see the ability, um, I see the wonder, I see the dream. Um, and that's why I do what I do. I want to open your eyes to you. Um, and saying that out loud is a little bit emotional for me. And that's how I know it's real, uh, because I feel it here. And if I look at myself, my face is all red. Um, and it's important for me that you know that, why, why I'm here and why I'm offering the services I do and why this is a journey I've chosen. So why do you do what you do? The exercise we did today is very simple. You need one other person with you. That person asks you why you do what you do. You answer that. And then the other person asks why. And you answer. And then they ask why again. And this goes back and forth a minute, two minutes maximum, until you get to your real why, the deep why, the why that gets you red in the face <laughs> and sweaty and a little bit shaking, if I'm honest. So invest in yourself. Um, take a moment to find the beauty that I see. Take a moment to take the blinkers off and really open your eyes to who you are and what you are capable of. Enjoy it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.